Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, July 23rd, and it is a very special thankful Thursday today. Uh, two of the things that I have been most thankful for uh, since uh, the pandemic started, uh, I get to celebrate today. Um, and I'm pretty excited about sharing with you all. Um, uh, we talked about this last week. I'm hoping to get people to start doing this. Remember, this is not just for me to tell you all the things I'm thankful for, but also to get you all to think about things you're thankful for. And so if you're willing, uh, please put in your co in the comments on either YouTube or um, Facebook uh, some of the stuff you're thankful for uh, this week. Uh, I'd love to see it, and I'd love to be able to rejoice with you about it and thank God for you uh, about it as well. But this morning, I'm going to read Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is in the God of Jacob whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food for, to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations, praise the Lord. So the thing I am most thankful for uh, today uh, is that on Friday uh, of last week, uh, my house in Kentucky sold. So I am now full-fledged Floridian with no ties to Kentucky. Uh, we were supposed to close on May 30th, and it took all the way until July 17th, I believe is what it was. Uh, but it's done, and I am so thankful. Uh, then on Saturday, Steph and the kids, uh, Steph got down from Kentucky, and the kids uh, got back from a, a week and a half with their grandmother in Chattanooga to where we have four dogs, I mean, sorry, four humans, three dogs, uh, all together in Florida forever. Like we are fully moved. It took us from J J uh, January 10th until July 18th to fully move to Florida, but we are here and I am so thankful. Uh, many prayers, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of prayers, uh, both for me and I know for many of you all. So thank God, I am rejoicing. The other thing I'm thankful for is today is in my top five favorite days of the year. It is opening day of baseball. And what a weird year it has been. It's usually uh, the last week of March. Uh, now it is July 23rd. Um, and uh, I know there's, there's a part of me that feels a little guilty that I am so excited about baseball because there are a lot of people that are going to be putting their lives at risk so I can have entertainment. Um, but I, I gotta be honest, I'm just happy. Uh, I am just so thankful that, uh, one of the things that I truly love is back and that, uh, even though our, this pandemic is a long way from over, it's a sign that little by little, we're finding ways to have life and, and finding ways of having life and doing it with a, the, a, a small amount of risk. Because uh, they're taking just tons and tons of precautions to make sure the players and the coaches and the staff don't get sick. Um, and that gives me hope for a lot of things. It gives me hope that maybe we can figure out how to live with this uh, this pandemic. And, you know, maybe if we see our baseball uh, players wearing masks and stuff like that, maybe it will encourage everyone to. Um, but really, I just love baseball. Uh, there's nothing about baseball I don't love. My biggest complaint about all of baseball is that my Dodgers um, play out west to where half the time the games don't start till 10 o'clock in uh, 
now that I'm an old fogey, I, uh, I, I get tired before 10 o'clock. So I don't get to watch the whole game like I used to when I was younger. It's usually three or four innings now instead of like all nine. But it just, my whole day is brightened because today is opening day. And the Dodgers' first game is at 10 o'clock tonight. And I will be watching. Uh, you can call me 24 hours a day, but there's a good chance I'm not going to answer at 10 o'clock tonight. Um, that's just, just a joke. I would still answer the phone if you all called because you needed me. Um, but those are the things I'm thankful for. It's a big day, a uh, big week. I've got my family, the move is over, and there's baseball. Um, go Dodgers. Hopefully I'll be praising God in uh, October about a World Series win, or maybe the first week of November this win this year. But uh, And I'll, I'll go, go Rays as well. Uh, you know, they're my second favorite team. They're now my home team. And since they play in the American League instead of the National League, I can fully, fully cheer for both the Rays and the Dodgers unless they meet in the World Series, and then I'm going to have to go all Dodgers. But if it's only one, makes it all, all root for the other. Um, so this fine morning, this glorious opening day, thankful Thursday, let us pray. Lord, I am so thankful for this day. I am thankful for the gifts you've given and that even though it took six months, uh, you have fully brought my family and I to Florida and to Hope Presbyterian, and I am so thankful for that. Um, my life just seems brighter now that we're all together. And I thank you that we get a distraction, uh, a distraction from pandemics and protests and all the things that are going on in our country and where we can just enjoy sport a little bit together. Uh, Lord, I am so thankful that everyone who's listening and who's um, experiencing uh, the daily devotion, I thank you for the stuff that they're thankful for. And I rejoice with them too. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen. Don't forget to comment uh, on what you're thankful for this week. Uh, I really would love to see it. And, um, and I, I will be praying and rejoicing for you, no matter if you put it or not, but I'll know exactly what to pray for if you put it in there. Um, thanks, y'all.